I'm Trudy Scott, food mood expert, certified nutritionist, author of the Anti-Anxiety Food Solution and host of the Anxiety Summits. We have season five of the Anxiety Summit airing November the 11th to the 17th and the theme is the gut-brain axis. One of my excellent guests on the summit is Tara Hunkin and she is the founder of My Child Will Thrive. And the topic that we talked about was mitochondrial dysfunction. And you might think, well, where does mitochondrial dysfunction fit into anxiety and gut health? And Tara is here to share a few gems that we talked about during our interview. Thanks, Trudy. It's great to be here with you. One of the things that we tend to forget about is that we want to look things at from a cellular level. So when we're talking about mitochondrial function, they are the little organelles that are within the cell and our cells make up the tissues that make up the organs that make up the system. So well, why these are being found to be so important is because they, uh, the mitochondria themselves produce the energy that gives um, the metabolic energy that it transmits throughout the body so that all the organs can do the jobs that they need to do. So um, what they're finding is that actually a recent review study that was published is that there's a bi-directional relationship between anxiety and mitochondrial dysfunction. So when the mitochondria aren't performing their, their appropriate duty making enough energy. And then that has led into some other studies that have come up where there's a case study that actually reviewed as well and tested a number of adults and children with um, psychiatric disorders including anxiety and they did testing to determine whether or not there was um, mitochondrial dysfunction by using a muscle biopsy. And in 70% of the cases, they found that with mitochondrial dysfunction um, in, in those patients as well. And with children, in 50% of the children that had mitochondrial dysfunction um, that also had depression. So I think we can't ignore that. And um, there are lots of different nutritional as well as um, environmental approaches that we can use to um, address the mitochondrial dysfunction and then actually up-level all the systems in the body and um, relieve a lot of the symptoms of anxiety. And improve digestion as well. From a digestive standpoint, um, we also need to look at the mitochondrial function because it's so tied into so many of the organs and systems that are involved in it. Um, the liver is involved in digestion and, and in terms of eliminating the toxins and carrying them out and it's a very uh, heavily mitochondria dense uh, organ as well, as well as the lining of the um, uh, GI tract as well. So we'll, we talked a little bit about that as well. Yes, it was a great interview and I can't wait to share it with everyone. Give us two of the nutrients that we talked about just to whet people's appetites. So. Yes, so well two of the ones that are most commonly talked about are L-carnitine um, or acetyl-L-carnitine and then we also want to talk about antioxidants because antioxidants help balance out the uh, reactive oxygen species that c create oxidative stress and, and harm mitochondrial function. So those are two of the things that of many yes. that we talked about. And we talked about testing and yes. we talked about some of the environmental factors. So yes. there's a lot of things that go into impacting your mitochondria. And I hope you'll join us on the Anxiety Summit, November the 11th to the 17th. Thanks for being with us today and looking forward to sharing your interview with everyone on the Anxiety Summit. My pleasure. Thanks, Thanks. for having me. Thanks, Tara.